Hello students, a very nice question for ITJ. In an SHM, the distance of a particle from the middle point of its path, middle point of its path means the mean position x equal to 0. At three consecutive seconds, means consecutive time intervals, are observed to be x, y and z, x, y and z, show that the time period is 2 pi divided by cos inverse x plus z divided by 2i. Now let us try to understand the question first of all. We have a straight line and the particle oscillates between these two points x equal to plus a right extreme and x equal to minus a left extreme. At a middle point x equal to 0 is the mean position. Now let us suppose that t is equal to 0 the particle is at mean position passing through mean and going to the right side. Suppose after t seconds, the distance is x, then after 1 second, t plus 1 second, distance becomes y and after t plus 2 second, distance becomes z. This is what is mean by here, 3 consecutive seconds, t, t plus 1, t plus 2, these are the consecutive seconds and corresponding distances are x, y and z. From this data, we have to prove the time period is given by this. Let us start. So, you students, you know. The position of the particle in an SHM is given by, usually it is given by a sine function like this, x is equal to a sine omega t plus phi, okay. But in some books, they may start with cos function also, there is no wrong in that, okay. But uh, no problem, you see we have to convert this into cos function because look at the question the question demands a cos inverse that means uh, this will not work here we have to convert this into cosine function so how can we convert a sine function into cos function you see let me write a formula here you might have studied here that cos of 90 minus theta or you can say pi by 2 minus theta is equal to sine theta Okay, now what will happen if you have uh, theta minus pi by 2, the negative of the above argument, you see pi by 2 minus theta is reverse is theta minus pi by 2, negative. Will there be minus sign here? No, it will not be minus sign, it will be only plus sine theta because the reason is that cos of a negative angle, let us say cos minus x is same as cos of x. So, therefore, whether write pi by 2 minus theta or it is negative which is theta minus pi by 2, you will get the same answer. Now, here sine of omega t plus phi. So, think this omega t plus phi as theta. So, this theta is this one, omega t plus phi. So, how this sine will become cos? In place of theta, you substitute omega t plus phi and minus pi by 2. So, in this manner, by subtracting pi by 2 from the argument of sine function, it converts into cosine function. Now, for the sake of simplicity, this part phi minus pi by 2, which is a constant itself, let us call it another constant c. Okay. So, our equation would become x is equal to a cos omega t plus c. Now, we look at the figure and we write down the equation as per this position formula. Okay. So, there are three positions given here x, y, z at three different time instants. So, for each corresponding to time t, we will put this value t over here, then we put t plus 1 over here, then this will x become y and then we put t, t is equal to t plus 2 over here, then this x will become z. So, we will write down, uh, from this equation we will write down that at time t is equal to t seconds, okay, and then at time t is equal to t plus 1 second and lastly at time t is equal to t plus 2 seconds, this equation will turn out to be for t is equal to t seconds position x. So, write down here position x is equal to a cos omega t plus c given by this. Same formula, if you apply for t plus 1 second, you will get in place of x, you will say y, distance is y. 
so y is equal to a cos omega and in place of time you have to put t plus 1 plus constant c and lastly use this equation for the z distance so in place of distance you put z is equal to a cos omega and the corresponding value time is t plus 2 plus the constant c so you see we have now got our three equations give them name equation number 1 2 and 3 now what we have to prove let's check out first of all you see we have to prove that uh, you see cos inverse something something x plus z by 2y so that means this gives us a hint that we must add x plus z and yeah? that means equation 1 plus 3 should be added let's do that so when you add equation number 1 and 3 what do we get we will get x plus z on the left hand side and right hand side we have to add this cos function with this cos function a can be taken common so keep a outside and write down here cos omega t plus c and plus cos of this omega into t plus 2 plus c now this is a very big expression now which formula are you going to use see the, we are having cos of one angle plus cos of another angle that means this demands here another formula that we study in mathematics that cos cos of c plus cos of d is equal to two times of cos c plus d divided by 2 into cos c minus d divided by 2 well known formula from maths textbooks okay so let us use it we will get we will get here a into so now you see we have to do cos we will write on two times two times of cos this plus this divided by 2 so we have omega t plus c plus this one you full open the bracket omega t plus 2 times omega plus c this whole thing angle divide by 2 and into cos of this now c minus d divided by 2 this minus this so omega t plus c minus now you have to subtract the whole this thing minus omega t minus 2 omega and minus c and the whole thing divide by 2 close the square bracket now simplify let's proceed we had to do some good amount of maths here so what we get a into 2 times of cos you see here what omega t plus omega t 2 times omega t 2 omega 2 times c so everything is 2 times so we have 2 times of omega t plus 2 times of omega plus 2 times of c and the whole thing divide by 2 okay and uh, next one what we have i think here we get some cancellations this minus this got cancelled c minus c got cancelled and we are left with uh, minus 2 omega divided by 2 now what next a and 2 into cos of you see here what what we can say here is that this 2 will cancel all the 2 to 2 so we will get in the bracket simply as omega t plus omega plus c and here we get cos of minus omega this 2 gets multiplied here 2 into a and we are getting cos into now this bracket you see can we take omega common from these two terms over here so take omega common and we will get t plus 1 plus c and what about this cos minus omega we have already discussed above here the cos of minus x is cos of x so similarly cos of minus omega would be cos of omega now what about this cosine function this cosine function you see if you go back and check our equation number 1 2 and 3 look at these equations 1 2 and 3 and look at here cos omega into t plus 1 plus c is this it is exactly equal to y if a multiplies with this so 
a multiplied by this cos omega t plus 1 plus c is this one same as y so from equation number 2 we we'll write down that this becomes 2 into y into cos omega so here i'll write the hint that this is from equation number 2 and what is on left hand side x plus z okay so our very uh, difficult looking equation has got simplified now i think we are very close to our answer you see if you just go back and check what we had to prove we had to prove in the bracket x plus z x plus z by 2y are we getting this x plus z by 2y yes we are getting so you see here we are getting that x plus z divided by 2y is equal to cos of omega now uh, how we get cos inverse obviously from here we can write down that omega is equal to cos inverse of x plus z divided by 2y and uh, now we have to prove time period you know so you know in shm the time period formula is nothing but 2 pi divided by omega therefore therefore we can say time period t is equal to 2 pi divided by omega I mean this cos inverse x plus z divided by 2y exactly this we have to prove yeah same thing we have we have proved here x plus z by 2y hence we have proved the question thank you for watching my video please like and subscribe my channel